All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x is equal to eight. So I wanna find the value of x. For my solution, first start with four to the power of x is equal to eight. And four, this is the same thing as two to the power of two. And eight, this is the same thing as two to the power of three. So now if I replace four with two to the power of two, and I, if I replace eight with two to the power of three, I get two to the power of two to the power of x is equal to two to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m times n. So two to the power of two to the power of x, that's gonna equal two to the power of two times x, which is two, simply two x, which is equal to two to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, and then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x is equal to 3. So I have 2x is equal to 3. So I'm simply going to divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out. Now I'll be left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is my answer. Now, there's actually a second method of solving this problem. So again, I first start with 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. But this time, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 8. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, for log 4 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So that's going to equal x times log 4, which is equal to log 8. Now I can simply divide both sides by log four. These two cancel out and I'll be left with x is equal to log eight over log four. Now remember eight, that's equal to two to the power of three and four is equal to two to the power of two. So now I have log two to the power of three over log two to the power of two. Now I can move these exponents to the front. So now I have x is equal to 3 times log 2 over 2 times log 2. These two log 2s can cancel out. So I'll simply be left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is my answer. All right, so for this problem, I have x is equal to x over 2. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with x is equal to x over 2. Now I'm actually going to subtract x over 2 on both sides. So then these two x over 2s cancel out. And now I'll be left with x minus x over 2 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So now I have x minus x over 2 times 2 is equal to 2 times 0. So for 2 times x minus x over 2, I'm simply going to distribute the 2 to all terms in my parentheses here. So first off, 2 times x, that's simply equal to 2x. And 2 times negative x over 2, the two simply cancel out, so I'll be left with is negative x. And this is equal to two times zero, which is simply equal to zero. So I have two x minus x is equal to zero. Now two x minus x, that's simply equal to x. So I have x is equal to zero. So x equals zero is my solution. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So again, I first start off with x is equal to x over 2. And now this time, instead of subtracting x over 2 on both sides, I'm actually going to multiply 2 on both sides. So I have 2 times x, 
is equal to x over 2 times 2. Well, 2 times x is simply equal to 2x, and x over 2 times 2, these two x2s cancel out, so I'll simply be left with x. So I have 2x is equal to x. Now, I'm going to subtract x on both sides. These two cancel out, and I'll be left with 2x minus x, which is x, is equal to, on my right-hand side, I'll have 0. So x equals 0 again. So now to check, I have x is equal to x over 2. We know that x equals 0. So I have 0 is equal to 0 over 2. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So I have 0 equals 0. And because this is right, my solution is right. All right, guys. So in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 4. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 20 as 2 to the power of 10 times 2. So I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 4. 2 to the power of 10, that's equal to 1024. So now I have 1024 to the power of 2 minus 4. And 1024 I can rewrite as 1000 plus 24. So now I have 1000 plus 24 to the power of 2 minus 4. Now if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. In this case, a is equal to 1,000, and b is equal to 24. So I have 1,000 squared plus 2 times 1,000 times 24 plus 24 squared. And then I have my minus 4 at the end. Now, 1,000 squared is equal to 1 million. 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. 2 thousand times 24 is going to be 48,000. Now 24 squared, that's going to equal 576. So I have 576 minus 4. And 576 minus 4 is 572. So I have 1 million plus 48,000 plus 572. And this is equal to 1,048,572. So this is my answer.